Hi Libra, this is Shah from Charlie's Angel Tarot and this is your video for the 6th to the 12th of April. I'm using the Lenormand deck and I'm using the Mythic Tarot deck, uh, the Pagan deck and the Inspiration deck and the Surrender deck and the tea leaves and my charms on the tea leaves. So let's get started. Before I get started, there's a, a little bit of news that I would like to give to you, and that is YouTube has changed the system to completely new system. So make sure that you're still subscribed to your favorite channels. And when you hit the subscribe button, you usually hit the bell if you want to be notified. Now there are three choices, private, uh, something else, and all. Hit the button all, otherwise you will not be um, notified to your uh, channels that you subscribe to. So hit the all button, okay? You will have a choice not to hear the bell at all or personalized or at all. But when you get personalized, sometimes you don't get notified either. So that's the choice that you have. So it's better to hit all. Then you will get notified from all your channels that you apply to. But make sure that you do hit the bell on the channels that you uh, wish to get notified from. If you need more information for a personal reading, then have a look at the description box below the video and there you will find all the information or hit the little right button just in the corner here that will take you to the website and there you can um, stay up to date with the in reviews and interviews and also uh, what is happening if there's any new developments. I do have the series of the witch. This week, uh, last week, we I couldn't uh, do the interview with the witch because we, uh, due to circumstances that are playing in the media now. I hope to do two episodes coming week. And let's get started, my darlings. Libra, the first card that you have is 23. I'm not using the cartomacy side of the deck. I'm using numerology and the meaning of linamum. So, 23 is 5, so you might feel out of sorts, not in balance. You might have lost something, or you might have, um, somebody might have taken something that doesn't belong to them. Look at the fairy, she's thinking and pondering, something is gnawing at her. So, get out of your mind, stop being depressed and take action. Mice also work in groups, so if you are stressed out and... Uh, you've got too much work and you may have to meet a deadline, then ask for help. If you've lost something, you can ask somebody or other people, have you seen it? Have you, uh, perhaps, did I leave it at your place, etc, etc. You know what to do. Well, you've also got the Seven of Swords here. And the Seven of Swords means that somebody is being sneaky. Perhaps they didn't want a confrontation or a discussion, so they left in haste. Um, usually it's with five swords and leaving something behind, but in this deck he, uh, they have taken the seven swords and left in haste. Somebody is being sneaky. Perhaps somebody did take something away from you. Um, perhaps your happiness. You, perhaps it's an end to a relationship or a friendship. Somebody took away your happiness. It could also be something material. But the longer I'm using the cards and the more definitions I get from different decks and my intuition, I also, usually the basic meaning is somebody sneaky, took something that didn't belong to him and left. But I also see it as a broken heart. You're taken away your happiness, your security, your safety. So perhaps you're worried about that. Then ask for help and protection from friends. And uh, if you are stressed out, uh, mice work together in groups, then you might want to try to find it or find a solution to it. Um, many hands make light work and two minds are better than one. 
those are the sayings that have come up to me, they have come up in me. The card that you have from the uh, tea leaf is an emotional, uh, um, emotionally secure, loving family. It's important to you. Perhaps that is, like I said before I read the card, um, I don't remember every single card that I have out of my head. It's just pure instinct. And uh, somebody's building a nest or you had a nest. And that is important. Family is important. Okay. You need emotional security. And perhaps somebody's taken that away from you by leaving you in the lurch. Well, I've got an alarm clock. So there might have been alarms or red flags um, as signs. The alarm is going off. Perhaps your inner biological alarm is going off that something wasn't right. I've got, it says seven o'clock on the uh, clock and you can see the bells in the back of the clock. So that means alarm bells. Alarm bells are going off. So what is, could that be? It is time to take action, I would say. It's time to get out of your mind. It's time to get up, wake up. This is a wake up call. Something is not right. If it hasn't happened yet on Monday, then take precautions, protect yourself. Midweek, you've got the key. You can open the key to possibility, positivity or you can close the key to negativity. And you've got number 33. That's an angel number. And the angel number uh, means that there is a doorway, a new beginning. And the new beginning is that if you open the door to positivity, uh, you're there. Uh, you'll be attracting positivity. Also, put your mind into a positive mo mode. So reset your mind to positivity. And you've got the two of pentacles. Don't worry so much about money. Perhaps money has been taken away from you because it is lying next to the seven of swords. And perhaps you are worried about how to cope financially. If somebody has left you, then yes. If you've shared it, both of you, the costs, then now how are you going to pay for the bills all in, on your own? So seek advice from somebody. Perhaps you're trying to keep balance between mind and heart or heart and soul um, or work and the home front. Perhaps somebody got so fed up they went away because the, you were working too much. Okay. You've got the bowl of fruit. Plenty of material things. You have plenty of material things. So that means you are okay. You're safe at the moment financially. So you are balanced. The angels have told you and given you a sign. You, you can spend the money right away. Don't lock the door to spending and open it only when it's necessary. The angels at six be balanced. Three times two is six. There you go. The two is coming. Be wise. Don't spend everything all at once. Get the perspective. Get the right perspective. Sit quietly, observe and see what you can do to maintain the balance. Be the wise old owl because the owl can turn his head 180 degrees and get a different perspective. Get a grip on it, your finances. The owl would get a grip on his finances. He also would be wise enough to invest it in something sound. Perhaps you need advice on that from somebody. And you can, and I think you will, because we have the lily. And the lily means luck in business, uh, luck at work. You might seek uh, advice from an older man. This could be a father figure or a professional. You've got number 30, which becomes a three, and that stands for creativity. So be creative and safe with your money. Keep it under lock and key. Don't tell everybody about it. Otherwise, it might be taken away from you. Learn from the past because Monday is already the past by Friday. 
A second later is already the past. On Friday, we've got the Queen of Pentacles. Yes, she's got green fingers and her husband, the King of Pentacles, has the, uh, the Midas touch. She's got the green fingers. She represents Mother Earth and she also uh, stands for fertility. Fertility, birth, birth of a project, birth of a child, uh, perhaps a new job. Something will, she also represents that because she nurtures, she grows things, okay, until they start blooming and then you can harvest. Okay, now the Queen of Pentacles also not only represents Mother Earth, but also the Hermit, and uh, the Hermit is Virgo. She also represents, sorry, Le uh, Virgo, because uh, the Virgo is the Queen of uh, Coins, and it, she also represents Virgo also represents the Hermit, but the, we haven't got the Hermit lying here, but the big Arcana and Person cards usually uh, represents also the Zodiac signs or the big Arcana, like the Queen of uh, Coins, she represents the Hermit. Now you've got two charms, I think you're the only one that had two charms on one card, you've got Gavel, gavel, something to do with the law perhaps or justice. Okay, involvement with the law. Okay, well, let's have a look. You have the Queen of Pentacles. So perhaps somebody took money away from you and you've uh, got advice to make a, a report, go to the police because somebody stole something from you and justice will be done. This is involvement with the law. Or perhaps um, you uh, have invested in something and some, somebody did you wrong with this investment and you've bought, reported to the law so you can get your money back. Perhaps that was an advice of an advocate or perhaps that was an advice of a very mature personal um, uh, professional man. You might... <coughs> It might be something to do with rights. I don't know why, but that's coming up in me. Perhaps you might be uh, listening to music and you might get a message. Okay. Perhaps you have written music or a song or words to a song and you, you told that to somebody and they've used your uh, music or your words to put to music or in something else. Okay, perhaps you've invested in somebody that's making music and they promised you a return and they didn't. They broke the contract. I think it's something to do with that. It's something to do with business. Not everybody will, uh, here will uh, be involved in the music business or writing music, but it could just be simply that you might be a creator of videos either on YouTube or Facebook or anywhere else and you use music and uh, you might be fined because you didn't regard the rules and regulations of royalties. Something as simple as that. It could be pro or negative for you. It all depends what you have done or what you didn't do. Uh, you know what it resonates to. It can also be that you were playing music too hard in the car, you couldn't hear uh, what was going on and so you weren't paying attention and you had a car accident and uh, the law had to be called in and you are at fault. Uh, but there is a wish coming true. You've got the star. The star is also um, what do you call it? A spotlight. So you are in the spotlight uh, on Friday. It could be with regards to music. It could be regards to something um, lawfully. It could be that you have written a song or done something and uh, the law is put down. You're getting a patent and you're becoming a star. Boom. 
Yes, I know it is very far fetched, but that's how I see it because she's Mother Earth. Um, if you're not pregnant, and like I said, she stands for new beginnings, uh, this could be an investment in music. This could be an investment um, of uh, actually becoming a star. You're putting yourself out there and you're using music to do it. Perhaps you're a dancer because this is the earthly. Uh, sign the earth sign uh, could you could be meeting a Virgo Capricorn or a Taurus and this is for Libra perhaps uh, you are a dancer they are doers they are manual side you are the thinking side they've got both their feet on the ground so they're very sober you have the heart at the weekend perhaps you might even fall in love with somebody that works in the law enforcement a judge a policeman uh, a security guard that could be the other side of it there's so many ways um, uh, that you can take this remember this is a general reading so if it doesn't resonate with you have a look at the moon sign and the rising sign you're back in balance because you've got 24 and 24 is six again you've got the six 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 you are in balance most of the week you've got the seven of cups so you um, uh, seven means good luck but you have big dreams and goals and make a priority list take the first goal that could come out much quicker and faster that will motivate you to take on the next goal or the next dream but remember you have to do the work and to make it uh, be able to come to life and to fruition it will come to fruition only if you stay realistic because you've got the queen of pentacles here but remember it takes time to nurture and love it to and to grow obstacles uh, are overcome ob ob sorry obstacles to overcome if we we've all got valleys and hills okay we have our ups and downs but you will reach the summit look at what you've got here you've got the feather the angels are here with you big time because you've got an angel number you've got the angel feather wow and the angels are bringing you the message everything will be fine you are being warned the red flags be careful of work together don't be shy to ask for help or guidance from professionals or wise people or mature people there might be something sneaky happening around you and you've got the snake under the fox the fox means analytical sneaky a fox sheds his fur but not his habits and again you've got 14 so that is a five you've got also two fives you might feel out of sorts so be aware be aware but you will be back in balance at the end of the week be as clever as a fox be observant and see what your goal is make the plans be patient and pounce when the time is right like the fox be aware of po uh, of analytic slimy sly people sometimes you have to take a page out of their own book book to beat them at their own game okay be clever but be wise and do it in the don't take the law in your own hands get the law to help you look advice this card is advice so seek legal advice to catch the thief on the tarot you've got the ace of ones the ace of ones means new beginnings and this could be a passion a passionate relationship or a passion that uh, like a, a, a hobby or a job that you a career that you love to do it's calling you to come into action it is 
taking action, the new beginning of work, a hobby or a passion. This could be with a fire sign, a Sagittarius, an Aries or a Leo. That could be your dream, Libra. That you want a relationship with a specific uh, fire sign. Now, surrender to. Surrender to trust. Trust yourself and your decisions. Be, don't be swayed by other people's strong opinions. Aha, <laughs> sly people. Okay. Walk away. Take a page out of his book or her book, like I said, about other people's strong opinions about what to do. Take action and be confident that you have chosen the right path. Take action. Protect yourself at all costs and your loved ones. That would remind me of the bear in the Lenamon. Live and breathe truth. There you go. And that means also be true to yourself. Truth is a necessity if you're ever going to live in harmony with spirit and become a source of inspiration for others as well. As you practice speaking from your truth without being hurtful or arrogant in any way, that's the intonation amongst others, you reconnect with the energy you emanated from in the first place. Live truth. Wow. We've got truth. Truth and justice are the air sign. That is you. Communication. Wisdom. That's the air sign. Libra, you are justice. So be true to your name. You've got the law there. It's on your side. Use it to your advantage. Don't do thing, anything backward and sly. But be analytical and observant. And you then take action. Then the truth will always prevail. Protect yourself and your dear ones. I hope you've enjoyed this reading. Take care. And I please share and like this video and share it with family and friends. And I hope to see you in the life, if not in the next video. Be blessed and stay safe.